Hey y'all, welcome back. I am doing, I realized that, um, I just put up a video, a thrift haul from, uh, I mean not a thrift haul, Hobby Lobby haul. Well, a little thrift was at the end. And I said I was gonna do um, stencil on the pillowcase, right? And I realized half of y'all, some of y'all might not even know um, what I was talking about from last year. Cause I got a lot of new people. So I'm gonna do it real fast. This is gonna be a bit very fast DIY very fast so I got this this uh, I brought these last year but this week pillowcases are half off at Hobby Lobby this one was $4.99 so I paid $2.50 for it okay I got two of them but I'm gonna show you one today how I'm gonna use this stencil to make a decorative pillow so I I normally if I was gonna center something I would leave the piece of um, thing in here, and I don't think it's gonna be big enough, so I need to find something else to add to it. Yeah, because it ain't gonna be big enough. I don't want it to bleed through to, on the other side. So you need to have something in here. So I'm gonna use these pieces and put it inside of it to um, make, help it not bleed through. So that's the important thing. That little cardboard that's in there is not big enough. So I'm just gonna add these in so uh, it doesn't bleed through. And actually I have this piece too from here. Let's see. The little piece that comes in, uh, I mean the plastic that comes in. That's all I wanna do is make sure that the stuff don't, the paint don't bleed through. Okay, here you go. So this little piece of plastic, just use whatever you have on hand. I'm going to show you in one second what I'm talking about. Let me tilt you down. You don't need to see me. Let me tilt you down. Okay. So, this is what I'm working on, right? Okay. Tilt you back. So now, what I'm doing is just stuffing. This is like a piece of wax paper that comes in the, uh, in the uh, stencil. So I'm putting this in here and I got it stuffed with all kinds of stuff in here just to make sure nothing bleeds through to the other side okay and I have also I'm gonna put in here the plastic that the stencil comes in so that way I ain't got no bleed okay got it all covered in here Okay. Yeah, so we're pretty much all covered up here. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to close this back because we need it to be even, right? Now I'm going to just flip it to the side I want it on. Now, don't do like me and iron this. I ain't ironing it. Here's the stencil that I chose and I'm gonna turn it right side because this is the way I want it to be I got the little birdie I'm gonna turn him this way all right it's a bird right here and then there's some leaves and this is the paint that I had picked up this is gray like a light gray here's a um this one's called this one's called uh, dolphin gray and this one's called hippo gray and then I have this linen color and I'm just taking a little bit of this paint and putting it on the plastic bag that I'm using. And I didn't even have any stampers, so I'm using these. Wait till you see how I do that. <laughs> so I'm putting some right here on the side, just a little bit. That's all it's gonna take. Just a little blending. And then I got this gray, darker gray. I'm putting that out just a little bit. And then the lighter gray. And then I'm gonna tape off I'm going to tape off, um, can y'all see that paint right here, how I have it sitting there, right on the bag, right there, see that? All right, so now I'm going to tape, and I'm going to, I want this to be as straight as I could possibly get it on here, so it can look like something. So, if you need to, you can use a measuring tape to center it. Okay, three and a half, and not quite three and a half, so I'll move just like that, that's enough, and then three and three this is an 18 um 18 by 18 pillow cover 
Okay, so now I didn't have any. I put my glove on, right? My little plastic glove. And I didn't have, I thought I had the pouncer things for the stenciling, but I didn't. So you see me grab a piece of that? Y'all. Yep. That's how we do it, y'all. We make it work. Okay, so now I'm going to tape. Tape this down up here. Mm -mm. Come on, thanks. Stop it. A little piece there I want to tape down. And here. Just so I can kind of keep it where I need it to be. But you'll see how I'm holding it as I'm doing the stenciling so I can keep it right. You'll see. All right, so now I'm going to take a little bit of this light gray and just have it real light like that. It's starting to get dark out here, but I wanted to get this done. So I'm going to go in here and do some of these little leaf things with that. And you don't want a lot of paint on here. Just a little bit, but I'm going to keep it as, tap it off as much as I possibly can. And the good thing about this, painting on these, they don't have to be perfect, you know? I'm going to go back over that with a little bit, a little bit of the dark around the edges, you'll see. So right now, I'm just trying to get my base of this gray, this light gray down on these leaves. And I'm leaving some space. For the darker gray some of them I'll kind of do them most of the way this could be a quick job because I'm not trying to be all artistic and whatnot okay ooh, ooh. It's probably best that you take a little uh, spray adhesive and stick the stencil down. But like I told you, I'm working on working with what I got right now. Cause if it all comes down to it and it's all that bad, I can change it up. They're two dollars and fifty cents, or throw it in the washer, you know. But uh, I've never. It, it always turns out fine for me. Now I got a little bit left up there that I just want to fiddle with this lighter gray with. Ooh, ooh, there you go. Uh. And then I want to get this one. This is on the zipper, so. easy as that. I'm going to go back over some of it and touch up with a little bit of the darker gray. Not a lot, but just a little bit. Just enough to blend that in. Okay, we got that branch there. I'm just trying to make sure I got it all. Okay, here. Oop. And then this side. And when I touch the thing, you see how I'm just taking a lot of it back off? When I uh, pick up some of the paint with this. Okay. So, get this a little bit better over here. And then I'll show you what I mean when I say I'm going to add a little bit of the dark around the edges. Just a little bit, because I don't want it to be dark at all. I'm not going for a dark look. Okay. 
to make sure I got this one right. Okay. So, like I said, it'll work. Now, I turn this to the other side, the clean side, right? That's why I put this glove on. And then I pick up just a little bit of the dark paint and I take just about all of it out off. And then I'm gonna come right around the sides with it and just put a little bit of color, a little bit of shadow on the edges. Just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a different piece of the sponge brush and I'm gonna work with the lighter color first. This color is almost the same color as the fabric, right? Almost the same color. So we're gonna have to do a little highlighting on this too. But we'll get our bird, the outline of the bird done. And it's almost the same color. It's not quite the same color, but it's a uh, very light tan. And it's funny, the pillowcase, is, the uh, color of it is linen and so is the paint, <laughs> so. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of highlights to him and do some blending. But I got that base down first. And I want to make sure I get a strong outline of them on there. Okay. Yep. And we're almost done, y'all. See? Just like that. Get one more little coat going of him on here of that linen. And while it's still... It's getting lit, um, dark now, but I, saw, but I just want to finish this for y'all. So while it's still a little wet, I'm just going to take a little bit of that lighter gray right on top of this so we can blend it. I'm going to blend it in with the color so it's not so gray, but I have a lot of uh, the linen in there. Okay, and now i got to get my get a lot of the color out of the brush. I mean, out of the, yeah, the sponge. And then I'm just going to kind of go around in here just to add a little bit of dimension. And blend it out a little bit. And then, let me get a little bit of this here. All right. So look, this is what I'm going for. I'm not going for a whole lot of uh, fabulousness, just something to change out those those pillows and have a little bit of a um, a little bit of a uh, change in there, you know, brightening up. So let me show y'all. I'm gonna take this off, and guess what? Like I said, if I don't like it, I can wash it real fast and start over, or I can go get another one for two dollars and fifty cents. It's just that easy. Here you go. And I'm liking it. I really like it. Look. Can y'all see that? Look at this. I am liking it. You see that light bird there? We don't have a lot to him, right? But it's there. It's something that's there. The pillow is very light. And I have, now what I could do, I'm seeing right now, 
I'm gonna take a little bit of this paint, pat it off, and go over this line right here. And this one right here. And I, other than that, I'm really liking it. I am really liking it. And I might be able to just add a little bit in here, like his feathers for him. But I don't even know that I needed that. I'm just gonna blend it out. So I'm really liking this. I'm really liking it. But anyway, y'all. Yep. See, very faint, very light, but it's something on it. And because I had the ones I have in there are extremely busy right now. So trying to change out them rugs, I just want to change a couple of the pillows on the sofa. And I think this is going to work out fine. I will show y'all when I, once I'm done, you know, I'll be doing a, a tour. So y'all will see it. So um, I'm going to let it dry and then um, I'll put it on a thing and I'll let y'all see it as soon as I'm, you know, ready to get that, finally get that furniture back in place from moving it to put down the rug. But anyway, y'all, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed. It's as simple as that. Just grab yourself a stencil and make your own custom pillows, y'all. It's easy. Like I said, this pillowcase cost me $2.49 and, um, $2 at Hobby Lobby because they're on um, sale. And they are on sale right now. If you go to your Hobby Lobby, just grab a plain one, whatever color you're working with, a plain color one. Grab a stencil couple paints that'll work and something as mild as this is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.